up and they won't let me out when I hit my cell block. Know the threat me out. Welcome to Jumping the Turnstile. I'm Jez Bod. I'm Timmy Taco. And uh, here we go again, Tim. How are you feeling? Uh, pretty good. Actually, I just, because we're drinking scotch and coke. Mm, we just had a chicken feed as well. We did, did have a chicken feed. Some dirt, not some dirty bird. I've got something to say about dirty bird in a minute. But, oh, KFC, uh, you mean? Because I'm on, I'm on scotch and dries. Mm. And no, scotch, we've, we've done this again. Dry ginger is the colour of scotch. Mm. And mm. I just, um, I thought I had a little bit of ginger still in there. So I was going to finish off the glass. Boom. <laughs> and I realised I was mixing in. Another drink and it was straight scotch. It's it's, it's cocktail ale. Where Timmy Taco has straight scotch uh, as a cocktail mix. Oh, I thought you were going to say you're a so-so science where the ice does not um, stay in a gingy. Ah, oh, I think it? I think a, a scotch it and melts in the ginger. But it, ginger seems to melt the ice more in a scotch I and ginger. That. This is um, <laughs> yeah. Well, those those uh, six cubes are rapidly becoming three. I can tell you that yeah, much. True, Give you the hot tip. So the Dirty Bird, we're watching, we're watching uh, TV the other night, and a bloody mm. ad comes on the television. Mm-hmm. It's the new strategy, KFC's new strategy. Oh, uh, Dirty Bird is KFC. Uh, well, yeah. Let's, <laughs> yeah okay. Oh, I'm setting um, it up for people that don't know what Dirty Bird is. Okay, well, it's, it's, it's KFC. And um, so basically what they're, what they're doing now is that they show this uh, uh, Asian guy He's cooking up a storm. He's doing a big stir fry. He's got and he's yeah. the noodles and the eggs. And he's, yeah. he's flipping this. There's fresh vegetables and it's all great. He lays it out on a plate. And then you see him going snip, snip, snap, 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 cutting up some chicken, some oh, beautiful yeah. deep fried chicken. Mm. So and then it says, why not, why not add a bit of KFC oh, so to your val- next meal? So val- to your next meal. Yeah, value add your meal at home. You're so you go to... You, Look, this so, is what they're saying. We all know you're cooking at home because times are tough. So you just, don't have to get the whole bucket of chicken. Just, just get a couple of bits to chuck on your meal. Mm. Just um, to... Just to make it better. Just enhance. so can, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's like so that... It's like they're jamming the ads in your face. With, uh, 24-7. You know, like, so you're eating, the, you're eating the ad. Mm. Then you're <laughs> eating the ad. <laughs> yeah. You become the ad. Did you see the latest McDonald's ad? No. It seems to be very K-pop orientated. Okay. Yeah. Sounds sexy. <laughs> so it's a very sexy boy band, K-pop boy band. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're very um, they've got a lot of makeup on. Okay. And they're uh, they geez, they're excited about the new uh, McDonald's value meal. <laughs> <laughs> Having oh. a good dance about it. Oh yeah. <laughs> and it's uh, it's a futuristic uh, it? McDonald's where, where you would expect to see a hip. K-pop boy band. How do, they, how do they how do they tie the boy band into the burgers? Here's the thing: there's nine of these boy bands, yeah. boy boys. So can you get? Do they change it for a limited time? The burgers are going to be changed. It's, now it's not Big Mac; it's called Big Boy. <laughs> well, one <laughs> one tray of McDonald's comes out to to feed these nine the hungry boys who oh, are dancing yeah. around, burning calories, mm. and it's a chicken McNugget. 12 pack. Yeah. Uh, well, you, uh, maybe even a sixer. Okay. Uh, <laughs> a large fries, mm. a Coke, and a burger. And then two <laughs> what, what, two choices of uh, sour sauce or uh, Cajun. <laughs> and it's not going to feed these these hungry boys. <laughs> no, no. It's value, but for money. Are you, what are you, um, with, with our little cheat on Maccas, if we go to Maccas, you, mm. you get the family deal, right? Oh, family. the box. The yeah, I wanted to box. do that for lunch. Well, just for do it for lunch. Oh, it's so much. It's, it's, it's like, so it's four burgers. It's four, four burgers. Yeah. Um, you can get um, <laughs> four, four chippies. Right? Where's my chippy? Yeah, but it's like 25 bucks or something for uh, the big box of family. Yeah, family. but then you work it out, right? Mm. If, you get, if you get a McValue meal. <laughs> <laughs> We're not sponsored by McD- McDowell's. Um, if you get that value meal, mm. we, get, we added it all up. It's like... I don't know. Way more. Yeah, it's like fifteen bucks. Yeah, more. if you, if I just go in there and get, I'll get um, just a a, a, a milk, <laughs> uh, fluke, hicken, and a to buy itself, and then yeah. I get the fries, and then I get the boy, drink, and, and then, then I I get it all separately. It's going to cost like fifteen dollars sixty, but if I get it in a meal, it's going to cost under seven. Yeah, and you can still throw away four of the burgers. It's crazy. When you yeah, crazy. So how yeah. do they do it for the price? How do they do it? Mm. Slave labor. 
Right, yeah. No, but you it's a good opportunity at, to... What happened when you, were, you worked at Mac? It's a good you? first job, yeah. I got a job at uh, McDonald's. Have, we heard, the, have three you shifts. heard the McDonald's? Oh, I might have said it. Sticks? Three shifts. He was... Three? Bought, yeah. He was, uh, I was underage. I didn't um, supply... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I said I was 15 and I was not. Mm-hmm. And so I, I just didn't give him my tax file number. You were 14? I was underage. Right. And so they used to pay me with a check. And uh, I went in for a, for a bit of a, um, what do you call them? Sabbatical. No, oh, well, we have to go to work. A shift. A shift, yeah. That's okay. the one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I put the wrong sauce on the wrong burger. Oh, okay. Yeah, and it. I was getting berated by, uh, he must have been, the manager must have been like 23. Yeah. And the, if you're uh, wet, soaking wet. And the, yeah, and the head, and the head uh, <laughs> burger flipper was maybe 19. Yep. Um, so I just walked out. I said, well, fuck this. And I walked out. And so I've done this a few times in my life. <laughs> well, you just. Well, that was the first, but then I got used to it. It's a good way to do it. If you get Storm it treated out. like shit, no, you just go, well, I don't need this, yeah. do I? No. Nah. Anyways, so I called dad to say, come and pick me up from a, from a phone box. Well, it just bloody dropped you off, mate. I had to get 20 cents. I said, I said what happened. He goes, you, you did the right thing. Yeah. Always quit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've done this gag before. <laughs> <laughs> memories, yeah. memories of, of, oh, of a wild thing. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Anyway, so we did the old uh, dentist visit. Mm. Mason's going to get his checkup, mm. and he's got straighties. Oh, his his teeth are coming in. It's coming in nice. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Thanks for asking. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, they're nice and straight. You see the photos I put up on Facebook you know, of his. Just... Of his uh, Moles and his well, I know you had braces, and I've you know, yeah. I've, I don't love my gappy teeth, but really? you know, okay, people say it's fine, but it's well, fine. I usually I know, keep that, my I, mouth closed. That's the so. First time I've ever noticed it. Oh, right, since you oh, said that. You're, you're a good brother, Thanks. <laughs> thank you very <laughs> that, much. That's actually true. Well, people, you don't see what people I, don't see what you see, yeah, okay, so an know, alternate it's a dimension, vicious, vicious cycle, yeah, it's your Truman show. <laughs> so uh, the dentist. dentist though, and she she gave him a check up and a prod and a, and a poke here and there and a zippy zap and a mm-hmm. you know all the, all the business of checking it drills, all checking drills drills and stuff. No, oh, a little bit of a oh, gum a gum pushing and and yeah. prodding and stuff more than um yeah tools. And then and then today, his tooth is loose. Oh, is it? <laughs> <laughs> it is. Yeah. No. Yeah, that's what they do. The next day. Yeah. So has she gone in there and gone? Well, when I was, before the COVIDs, I was going to the dentist regularly, just getting checkups and getting cleaned and, you know, yeah. getting all the bloody fillings done and stuff. And now that I haven't been going, I haven't been getting fillings. Ooh. It's amazing, isn't it? But she did take a tooth out, this one that I'm so ashamed of that I haven't replaced yet. You know, because I can't get back to Thailand okay. to get a fakie for like four thousand yeah. bucks. Yeah, because you got to get your tits yeah, done, yeah, and, yeah. and the pecs, and the <laughs> pecs we call them pecs, okay. pecs. Um, and so, but there was a little shard left in it up until like a month ago. There's just a little bit of tooth tootho in the in the cavity. I got in there with a bloody toothpick. And I jarred it loose, and so and it came out. But I was booked in to like go and see a dentist for that. But like I, I just did it with a toothpick. Yeah, right. Yeah, because because she was because I, I don't know. Are you saying that they don't do much? Because from the description she gave me of what she was doing, what she looked at, this and that, it was so boring. Look how much information she gave me. I was like, eh. look, dentists need to be there for when when you're in the the pain, tooth pain. It's nothing like it. It's like hitting your thumb like I did. Like thumb, mm. like you hit your thumb. It's it's proper pain. Step on a nail, get a toothache. There's these weird like little injuries that add up to a lot of pain. Yeah, right. Yeah. It's ones you can't really control. <clears throat> but uh, as soon as you lance the thumb or you get the tooth out the, yeah. or you get the thorn out of it, ah, you're better. Ah, uh, yeah. It's like and the, so you the, need the it there, but the check, the, exactly, the, exactly. The, the thorn in the, the thorn paw. side. The mouse and the... So... So that's what a dentist does. But it, it, but if you're not taking the thorn out, you've got to do the general fucking, how am I going to make this uh, business work? So I've got to, I've got to like, I've got to do the checkups. I've got to, yeah, do, I've got to suggest, like, the veneers. I've got to... Yeah, she's giving me the thorn. It's like when you pick your car up and the me- mm. mechanic goes through, of, of, did the dip, 
and the flip mm-hmm. and the, and the but flip. next time we should look into the L- look into the yeah. and the <laughs> yeah and when that when the me- uh, mechanic's talking to you you're like uh, until he shuts white up white noise yeah yeah it's nothing so that's kind of what the dentist are you're going to say mechanic and dance it back to McDonald's somehow no. which is actually a, a good side business it, it is drive through drive through and you get the old classic bzz, 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 yeah. clear pit stop <laughs> Yeah, and your coffee. In your coffee. Morning. Morning pit stop. Get your coffee, get your morning brown, <laughs> and you um, get your tire pressures done, your windows waxed, your yeah. fucking petrol topped up, boom, you're out. Get a dogs. feed. Get a feed. Because they were doing uh, <laughs> eggs and bread. Remember during the COVIDs? You could go through the McDonald's drive throughs mm-hmm. not that I did it, no. um, and what? get your coffee and your like. And your milk. Air goes and your milk. Really? Goes. Yeah. It was just, you know, let's let's try to milk Cash a bit. Yeah, milk it. Not, no. milk it. Milk it. How can we how can we milk this? <laughs> milk. <laughs> Perfect. Gary, you're rehiring. <laughs> yeah, Gary. Does it did it again. <laughs> did it again. Yeah. But Good work. um the only thing that made me feel uncomfortable about the dentist was that um he's he's got she's like, I'm gonna have to get it I'm gonna have to give him a quick X ray. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, okay, there it she begins. Goes, but she can't be in here when I do it because hmm. no one can be in here when it when it when it happens. Mm. Is it safe for my well, son? Yeah, well, he's in there. <laughs> so they put a full the lead chest, lead yeah. bib over the whole top of him. Can I just is, can I just the lead bib? I always like to be swaddled. I don't know if it's the flashback to my childhood, mm. but I loved it when I we used to like. Roll the, the cocoon, doona. yeah. Cocoon doona. We would lay out during the kaduna, <laughs> yeah. Lay a doona out, and then and then like tight, and then like wrap a, a sarcophagus. No, or, I, I, yeah, like no, a cigar. No, like you're a, like a human cigar. Yeah, you could do a you could do a self roll. I like that roll. swaddle. You could do a self roll. Yeah, but there was always can you can, can you, you roll me? me? <laughs> <laughs> can you drag me over? Because the problem with putting the the Kaduna on yeah. was that you had to scooch over to yeah. where you're going to sit up on and then you fall out of the Kaduna. Because you're basically at that stage like um, a, a, a caterpillar before you become a beautiful butterfly. <laughs> before you become a beautiful sleeping couch <laughs> ornament. Uh, but I always like that swaddle. And I do like that when you go to the dentist just before the x-ray, they do put the lead chest on. And it's, it kind of feels almost like you're in a Die Hard movie with a little bit of a – That's a, I don't okay, imagine what a bulletproof <laughs> vest would – Feel feel like and smell like and taste yeah. like you know. Yeah, in five minutes I'm going to kill you. And rip, <laughs> doesn't he say that when he's in the chair in um, Total Recall? Oh yeah, I'm going to rip your head out. Ah uh, no, that's um, True Lies with Arnold Schwarzenegger, and he gets gotcha. given. He, <laughs> yes, <laughs> same chair. He gets given the truth serum. Yes. And he says, so what are you going to do? Yeah. First, I'm going to rip this armchair <laughs> out and use it to stab you in the eyeball. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Yeah, um, so I do miss Anani. Let ch- let chest on, but yep. but what made me feel uncomfortable was like I get it, they're doing seven, eight X rays a day. Mm. They don't want to be in there. They can't be sure. in there for everything. But like she kind of did. I'm outside. She kind of did a quick. Oh, are you ready? Stay still. And then did the like run out of the room. To uh, she pressed the button and then ran out of the room really quickly. Yeah, it's like isn't there a better way to take them? Can't they just give her? a... Because my dentist... Can't she just have a lead bib? My dentist, can't you put the lead around the camera? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe do that. Okay. Um, my dentist just puts a thing in my mouth and it takes a photo of it. Well, that's that's what you get. You get the thing in there, but they've got to do the thing. It's an x-ray. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I didn't feel good. I don't feel good about Do you pay extra the whole... for the x-ray or is that a part of the fee? No, it was 35 bucks For, for the brain. x-ray? The whole thing. Oh, because oh, he's got a small mouth as a child. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, half the price because yeah. it's half the size of the mouth. Yes. That's how they work it out, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. How big is a mouth? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> how many teeth do you have left in your head? Uh, I've got to go. I've got to go do get the old checked out. The old chompers. Yeah, I'm due. I think I'm all right though, because because everything she said, you know, like you get you get the. Uh, you get the bleeding gums if you if your gums aren't healthy. Mm. I don't get it when I brush my teeth. Just 
doesn't happen. So oh, I just don't brush my teeth. <laughs> yeah. no, no, my, my, my gums don't bleed. Yes, crazy. but I just, I just don't like the way the dentist points out the little things that are wrong and then they come up with explanations that makes you feel like an Oh, well, that's every time. Yeah. Her, so, how many times are you flossing? <clears throat> oh, she did well, say. Well, you know say, how many times I'm flossing. Oh, I'm not. She said, I'm not. She's here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I'm here. Okay. And you've asked the question. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so since his last, since his last two-year visit... Um, you know, is, is, has anything changed in that time? I said, in the last two years, <laughs> has anything changed? Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. A couple of things. A, little, a few th- little things. Um, it was hard not to flare up, but I do I do like it's this. this wait, 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 sodi pop. You don't do sodi pop here, no, do you? No, I don't do sodi pop. She said, well, you know, like, you know, maybe he should drink water instead of sodi pop. Mate. And I'm like, well, he, he, don't, he doesn't. I know what it is. She goes, it's either that or he's not brushing his teeth properly or this or that or this. I'm like, it's that. He's not brushing his teeth properly. That's what it is. Are you standing there? So, uh, do you I'm like, sitting there, did, but I'm, I'm mastered up, right? I'm mastered no, up. No, no. So Are you hard... there when Mason's brushing his teeth or is it a, no, is it a bu- no. trust-based yes. relationship? Yes. Yes. So, so now, he's doing the Uncle Buck. I'll know if you just run the toothbrush under the, under the tab. Yeah. And made it wet to pretend like you've brushed. Yeah. <laughs> it's exactly that. Is that what Mason's doing? Pretty much. Okay. Pretty much. So, yeah. So, look. Yeah. A little bit's changed in that time. But I, I, don't, I don't like... I can't get a good read. Right? So, Ma- Mason's getting his, his right. teeth drilled and there's a little bit of pain here and there. She's like, put your hand up if it hurts. And, he, and like, she, she, like, touched his tooth. And he went like this, he put his hands <laughs> coming up in the air and then left it up there and she had to go like, that's okay, that's all right, I'll stop. Yeah, uh, but it's hard, man, when someone then, starts then, jabbing you know, around in there for the first time. Yeah, but then I could, I could, because he's had sunnies on, so I couldn't see his eyes. And he was <laughs> looking, I could tell he was looking over at me and he couldn't read my face, which I'd usually mouth like, so, you're doing right, yeah. mate. You're good mate, yeah, you're good mate. Right, but I couldn't give him that read. Encouragement, no. and then I couldn't read the dentist's face. Well, I've asked the dentist, like, can you see my eyes? Do you know, mean? like, through the glasses? Okay, it's double. Like, it's like I was. I usually get into the chair and close my eyes during the whole thing. Yes, because I don't want them to see me staring at them the whole time. It's weird. It is very. So weird. I just close my eyes. Yeah, but then I asked one time, like, so it's like, oh. Okay. I want to see what the machines are that she's sticking into my face. Yeah, right. And so I asked her, can you see my eyeballs? And she's like, I can't see what you're looking at. So. Free, have at it. Have at it. I That's, think you need to ask every dentist that because they're going to, they, isn't, isn't it sort of like you bring your own sunnies? No, nah, they've got those. Special ones because they gave Mason a little pair with like flames on the side. Yeah, the kid, special kitty. It's okay. like when you go into the sock, uh, to the to shoe shop and they, there's the sock um, basket. <laughs> oh, yeah. Remember that? Yes. <laughs> like, you know, because I've got, I've got like my house with the pool back in the days mm. and everyone would come over mm. and it was either towels, oh, towels sure. and sunnies. Yes. This is what we've yeah. got. Like I've got a bowl out there up in, well, not in the crawl space, but around the corner of the crawl. Um <laughs> Around the corner. <laughs> oh, yeah, um, there you go. <laughs> yeah. You did it. Uh, about 25 pairs of sunnies. Sure. Yeah. 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 And board shorts and board random shorts never towels. Got, nah, board shorts never got left behind. No, nah, because no one ever got naked in that no, pool. No, no, no. Although, although, um, was it you or somebody? Oh, no, no, it was, it was, it was, it was I was at a party and, Mm. Where do you live? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh yeah. it was the dress. Is that kind of pool out the back? Yeah, yeah. Oh fuck this. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's such it, a was, t- <laughs> it was Pete the plasterer. <laughs> was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pete and all his mates. So Gary was, uh, they used to come your here. Work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So gotcha. Pete, Pete and Gary the plasterers used to frequent your pool. This used to be a party house before yes. it was a party house. Yeah. Different kind of parties, mm, right. more, more yeah. like your key parties rather than yeah, just <laughs> okay. like normal techno parties. <laughs> yeah, okay, these standard techno kitchen parties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do like a good uh, house party. Mm. Has it It has been a while, mm. a little while. Um, Have we talked about the um, the the last lockening? 
Oh yeah, we yeah. missed we missed the whole last locketing. Oh yeah, because that's uh, uh, I, I wanted to bring that up actually, just to break the fourth wall. Is it? Sure. You know, the last couple of episodes, pr- probably six of them, we did we did a, a big batch of two weeks. We did all, a couple of episodes to to prepare for winter times. Yeah. For the, for the um, it's, it's, I, had to find, I had to go and find another job. Uh, you know, all this, all this stuff has, has been happening. So yeah. you, you do, uh, you do bank an episode or two, mm. is what they say. <laughs> I didn't realize you they would date that quickly. They dated pretty quickly because now we're in another bloody lockdown. Mm. Yeah, because we're doing this on Zoom, though. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, no, you're you're in my quote unquote bubble. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And I don't give a goddamn shit. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. 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 But, you know, no. like... A, you know, each can, to their own. Each to their own. You can relate each to that. Each to their own. Right? It doesn't matter. But, um, you know, we're, so we've, 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 again, been starved for content. <sighs> you know, yeah, so Melbourne, another Melbourne lockdown. Lockdown four. Like, we can't even come up with puns anymore. No. There's so many... Uh, a lockdown look, four. Can't come up with puns anymore. There you go. <laughs> There you go. That's as good as any. Okay, great. Yeah. All right. Well, um, and, you know, hopefully we get 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Um, so, so the lockening. Lockening um, four. Yeah. Uh, no, uh, shut, shut in the door. <laughs> once more. <laughs> shut in the door once more, lockening four. <laughs> Something like that. But, uh, I, I, I don't know. I, I, is, uh, are people getting pissed off as much as we were a year and a half ago? Is it, is it um, now... That they're getting pissed I, off. What's or? weird about it is, I th- it felt like months for me. This one, yeah. I don't right, know about you. just because you were thinking, oh, I'm just about to start the business back up again, and everything's going to be no, all right. I had fucking nine gigs cancelled. You know, you yeah. just you. you That's the reality you, of it. You the guy. <laughs> oh well, look, all the all it all gets delayed and put off and. Yeah. But that wastes your opportunity to do other stuff that you could have been doing if it if it hadn't happened. Well, what, like learning French or something? Because no. I, I thought I wanted to do that the first lockdown. No, well, like, now all the gigs have shifted into the spots where the next gigs were going to be. Yeah, you know those I mean? gigs so, are gone. What, those gigs are gone. Gone. It doesn't matter gone. if you get them back later. No. They're gone. Gone. Those gone. hours standing in front of a turntable to unappreciative um, oh, God. drunk people. <laughs> oh. <laughs> For... For not it's enough tough. money, it's is tough, man. It's tough. What a gig! But then, but then, in the middle, the midst of it all, mm. uh, the computer crashed, and that's the computer I need to do oh, the yeah. fucking gigs. So now I'm in, I'm in the market yeah. for another computer. Look, uh, this is this is one of these things that we're facing in uh, reality. Well, in Melbourne at the moment, uh, we had the massive winds the other day. Yes, big stormos. Uh, big stormos, yeah. <laughs> storm right? We're calling that a we're calling that an eighty-five year or a hundred year Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know they rip out the years. Yeah, yeah. I got you. It's not a it's How not a hundo. It's not a hundo. <laughs> okay. It's a uh, fifty smoking wet. <laughs> <laughs> smoking wet. <laughs> yeah, but soaking, um, wet, soaking wet. Yeah, um, so it was it was a big one, but it took down a lot of the power grid. Is what I was trying to get at. And that's it. And and relatives of mine on Vanessa's side. Mm. Um, so they've two doors down from them. One of the trees has, has fucking and managed to hit the house and the car <laughs> and the spare car. <laughs> Only one. And again. the jet ski. <laughs> yeah. Don't know why I've got a jet ski in the hills, but I've got one. But uh, the the. The brother-in-law, mm. um, he's uh, moved the car with, you know, thinking, "Oh, mate, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move that. Yeah. Something's gonna bloody hit that." Next thing he hears, c- 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 crash, and uh, there's a tree going over the parking spot. Oh no! But he was spewing because the tree wasn't big enough. He was, he's like, "Oh, I just wanted it to be written off." Yeah, so you get I them insurance just, dollars. Yeah, I said, "Well, let's just fucking cut a tree down, and fucking squish it now, mate." <laughs> I didn't say that. No, I would have. I would have yeah. if I was a career now, how criminal. Do we, how did we get to this? Um, yeah, we're just talking about the big old storms, the hundos, the uh, the eighty fivers. But um, power lines down. Well, it's the you know it's the chaos. It's the chaos, and we, we've been going through this uh, for for generations. Storms, mm. weather, floods, mm. 
Uh, there's got to be a better way to get cables, yeah. laying, laying cables. Yeah, because the, the, all Can't the power- we lay cables <laughs> instead of having them up in the wind and the trees? Yeah. Yeah, I, I would just think if you're living up in the hills, right, Yeah. Uh, put the cables below the trees. So if there's or, fires along the or road, if there's anything. Fires, you've got your floods, you've got your fires and floods. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Sure. Trees falling down, wind, mm. right. And then every time, like, so there's dudes up there now. It's been, like, what, a full week? Yeah. And there's people that have no powers. There's, there won't be power. There's for, not going to be power. Not for, for a while. Yeah, because I was saying, you can't go to Bunno's and say, you know, two kilometres of, of uh, um, electrical cable, thanks. Uh, for, uh, Industrial uh, <laughs> strength. Three-phase, uh, uh, <laughs> nine-phase, uh, yeah. nine-inch cables. Uh, no, you don't. What you do is you go get yourself a Jenny. So is this? No, it's look, just look like is so this? Is it? Is a hundred year storm like a Valentine's Day, but for electricians? Gotcha. Because we've said this before. So you've got different <laughs> holidays for different, different products. Things, different products. So uh, Easter's about chocolate. Yeah. Valentine's is about flowers. Christmas is yeah, just like everything. retail. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the jumble yeah. jumble bag. <laughs> um, who's got what? Um, you got uh, Valentine is um, yeah, is yeah. roses you, and yeah, cho- flowers, chocolate yeah, all flowers. love, love and cards. I'm sure there's, card there's, there's, sure there's yeah. uh, other days. Flowers, um, Father's Day, Mother's Day. Yeah, yeah. You got these birthday, uh, you know, birthdays. It's a yeah. classic standard. But um, what was the original <laughs> one that I was talking about? <laughs> It is. So it's just that repair bill. Electricians, well, uh, you know, ca- ca- cashing in. Yeah, we had that rain before the winds. Big rains. And big rains. And yeah. I, I, I turned to the bloke and I said, I, oh, you know, when these rains come and it's just like uh, uh, tow truck drivers are rubbing their hands together. Yeah. Going, oh, I can't wait oh, for all these accidents. Truck. So when all these windows are hap- winds are happening yep. and power lines are falling over, the sparkies, the electricians are saying, oh, Jesus, it's like Valentine's Day. It's, it's like a trading day. It's a yeah, trading day. day. Trading day. Yeah, chainsaws, bloody yeah. generators. Oh, the chainsaws. Fuck, they love the that shit. The wood chippers, the um, yeah, so it's the, road, road it's traffic like a, control. Like a, I oh, am, they love it. I am talk back right now. Oh. Yeah, so we got called off the work site. Eskies, ice. We got called off the work site. Couldn't get the boys to work, so we just went up there and, and just handed out coffees to the people in the street. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's that's very good. Yeah, care of Dano and Jono. Buildings at at, uh, <laughs> at Mural Buck, still Plaza. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> take that one. Yeah, so yeah, so I was just driving home, and the just bloody massive gummy came down. It's a widow, oh. widow maker came down, but I had me uh, still chainsaw, seventeen inch up. Yeah, so we jumped out and we uh, got the winch onto it and uh, chopped away at it. Yeah, and I was like. Do you mind if I take this firewood? <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's 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 been um it's been pretty crazy this winter. Yeah, but I was saying like we can only handle one tragedy at a time. Like we can't we can get um September eleventh, but we can't handle. Oh no, Tim. We can, we can, we can have many. We can have uh, plastic uh, same, crises. We day. can have we can have uh, no, but I just winds. Said, we can have COVIDs. We can have many crises piled well, up on top of way. each other. Yeah, but like, can we can we handle it? Yeah, we're very resilient, resilient, <laughs> and um, you know, who Resort, knows what's resourceful. Uh, resourceful? Maybe no. Who who knows what's next with this um. Disclosure. This oh, month this we're getting to the, yeah, it is. This month we're getting the uh, the CIA, yeah. Pent- Pentagon papers saying what's uh, what's real, what's not, what they know. Is that because of that uh, little clause that everybody signed out? Yeah. What they're falling through with that? Yeah, that's happening. We talked about that uh, months that ago. They slipped it in, a little rule, and yeah. everybody signed off on it. That that 180 days or something they had to yeah. reveal everything. It was the um, some sort of COVID. Package deal. Oh, it's a package bill. deal. That's right. Five thousand pages long. Five thousand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, 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 slipped, they slipped in. You got to disclose what you know, Pentagon, about UFOs. Fuck. That's why they're doing all this slow leak stuff. And who knows what it's about? Who knows what anything is about? Yeah, but the, you, what you do know I think is there's somebody like, out there doing a five thousand word, five thousand page mm, document. Yeah. P- PDF. Yeah. Someone's putting that together. Yeah, they sure do, the don't they? The Pinsky file. It's like 
that's why I don't know what how the world works. Like, if I got a job, what's what? Do, how do you do well, it? How you do it? I say, okay, so this is what you got to do, right? You've got to fan out or pad pad out. Let's mm. just say in this bill, there's some environmental part that you need to fulfil. Okay. So you, no matter what, you know, you've got to have, have bins, toilets. <laughs> Since toilets, recycling, solar. water, solar, you sure. know, sure. all that business. Sure. And then instead of just like roll, writing a paragraph, because that doesn't suffice. You write 5,000 words? You print out like stuff off the internet. You go, this clause relates back oh, to that study, relates rings, back to that person. Rings. And so you don't do any kind of your, of your own study or breaking it all down into a concise sort of like paragraph. You just go... See that, see that, see that. But they but but so they're passing bills and rules and laws and stuff. Someone's writing the laws, then someone's collating that into the PDF. <laughs> <sighs> it just blows my mind. It does. The, the paperwork, all the ink. And is it really five thousand pages, or well, is it five thousand digital pages? Uh five thousand digital pages, but the writing's really uh, big. It's, it's, okay. <laughs> Okay. And the pages are very small. Yeah, okay. So it's, there's not a lot in there, but there is 5,000 pages. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that I is... think we need to get that standard before they start spouting that off at the news. It's 5,000 page document. Your... Okay. What font? Okay. Yeah. But okay. I'm, yeah. Okay. So New what Times? Is, is it, what's your standard font size? Are we talking? Are you, are New we're Times, 12? Romans 16. No, are we a 12 or are we a 9? Do you know the diff size? Yeah, size of I'm, I'm I'm with a twelve for my, for okay. my papers. I prefer a twelve. Is there a twelve rule? Do you know what I mean? Like, is that a like stock a, standard, a classic standard? Classic standard. You yeah, know, this document isn't valid unless there's a twelve. Uh, a twelve yeah, point font. Yeah, like you know, some documents you have to use a black pen. If you use a pencil, it's invalid. Yeah, I um, jump. You know? It's like uh, like voting ballads. <laughs> All right. So, what have you been watching um, on YouTube mostly this week? Um, oh no, I'm I'm back onto the fucking gold diggers. That's okay. The, the deep um, sea, the deep, uh, you know, the underwater, under the um, waterfall. Oh, so yeah, okay. So look. people jump off waterfalls and their wa- rings everything. and their watches and their iPhones drop off, and yeah. then people dive get under it. with cameras and and it's great. It's like sick. Yeah, yeah oh, oh, sunglasses, and it's they get really man. excited underneath yeah. the water, don't they? It's very clever, though. It's the best place to go looking for treasure because, like, you see all these other dudes. Like, I've been looking at a lot of the um, detectorist stuff as mm. well. Mm. Because I fucking, I really want one. I really want. Well, we'll one. get you one next but, birthday. But like, I, I want, I want to like um, exact a coin three thousand. Yeah, so you can you set know. it to um, New Times Roman, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you get all those Caesar coins. Yeah, that's it. But it tells you, it tells you how deep to dig, and tells mm. you. If, Pretty much what it is, right? This Nail is six centimeters. Yes, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> um, so I've been yeah, watching that. Be cool. Be cool. Digging up, digging up coins, and and like like digging up coins from two thousand and three. Mm. It's like mm. how the fuck is a coins getting anywhere? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So how are they how are they getting under the bloody gr- under the ground? And like because because there's this one dude that's he's in a field and he's he does ten days in a row and every day. He gets fucking at least two hundred and eighty coins, right? In this area, every day for ten days. And what kind like of coins? All of them, right? Like just mostly, mostly American right. coins, but like pennies, this, that, old shit, new shit, mm. uh, grey shit, fake festivals. Things. Could ha- could have no, happened. No gold, but just like yeah, just like quarters and. Okay, like, but, well, but, but like, it, well, you could bring in circulation currency. And well, you bring dirt in sometimes. Maybe there's coins in the in the truck with dirt. Maybe you have right. a maybe you have a rave yeah. in the field. Maybe you okay. rains yeah, coins. I, I don't know, but I don't know why. I don't know why. Best so place to weird. go uh, detectoring at the moment. I, I watched one just before I came here, mm-hmm. and it's the um, it's the glaciers. Oh yeah, uh, a lot of plane what are you wrecks. Get out there? Wow. A lot of people are getting diamonds. What do you mean? They're getting sapphires. How? Because all these planes have gone over the and uh, crashed in the Antarctic regions. In the Andes. And in the, in the, in the high glaciers of wherever. <laughs> Kuala Lumpur. And uh, definitely no glaciers in Kuala Lumpur. Right. Very, very humid <laughs> okay. over there. Okay. But nevertheless. Watch that. Um, 
Yeah, because everything's melting because of humans uh, fucking up the earth. Yeah. yeah. Too much carbon and yeah. all that. Oh. Um, and they're finding plane wreckages. Yeah. And uh, they're finding stuff in the in the snows. Okay. Um, jewelry so boxes, like a, a luggage. Pla- or? Yeah, if they had a luggage, there was a plane, a uh, plane load of rich people that's crashed or whatever. I don't know. Yeah. So but morbid, there's there's but... things everywhere, and it's all these levels, isn't it? It's like what is buried underneath there. And we'll talk about this in the steez in the last episode. Mm. You know, the um, Easter Island heads. You dig yeah. down like, into the bodies. I guarantee you, the the the, the soil the, the soil came like after uh, the fact. Yeah, like it was it, it, it was deposited there, mm. <laughs> or it's almost like that, isn't it? It's because not like they dug down got and buried. Cut, nah, somehow mm. they they didn't Where did do the it. Where people though. go? This is what I want to know. Who buried it? They only had shovels. Do you think they actually physically buried it, or do, or was it some like? Not Volcanic disaster. like um, mud storm. So so um, a mud storm. <clears throat> what's the um, what's the place Pompeii? Yeah, yeah. That's that's got an explanation. But like all these other ones, the Egyptian cities and stuff. I guess sands like the sands of time. Yeah. So is the well the uh, Globeki Tappies. Because that's exactly what you said in the last episode. <laughs> yeah, the exact okay. same joke. Right. Um, that was a test. You fault. you failed. I passed. Uh, well, so it's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing in on this, how you see things. Um, yeah. yeah, like did they literally bring in sand and bury it or was it? To protect it. To protect, that, that's the narrative. Okay. The, the archaeologists are saying, oh, they buried it. They knew a cataclysmic event was going to happen. Mm. And so to preserve the buildings, they mm. buried it in sand. Mm. This is, uh, mm. It's a lot of bloody work, mate. It's... Yeah. This thing's huge. Yeah, it sounds... Um, 10,000 yeah. years old. I'm sure there wasn't tractors. No. Buckets? Contractors? Yeah. Payrolls? Food? Taxes? Well, when, when you're burying everything in sand, there's sand everywhere. How do you eat Sand, it? sand everywhere. How do you not get sand in your buddy's sandwich or your soup? Yeah. yeah. When you're eating, you know, yeah. like there's, there's so it's many the slaves, so yeah. much sand. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just rough. It's everywhere. Well, I just don't think that this uh, slave narrative, as well, is is true. I think you got to, I think you got to pay your workers. You got to feed them. You got to uh, give them water. Okay. You so make them skilled. Give them the good kit so that you give can give them something to you stick can, around. So for. you don't have to go and get more slaves. Yeah. Just make their lives good. Give them roads. Give them education. Give them <laughs> <laughs> toilets. Payrolls. Do we get toilets? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Mm. And that's how you get to build your second pyramid. <laughs> yeah, no, you haven't rinsed <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but I think as we dig down and we find other levels, uh, we've talked about the plastic level. Like in the future, okay, they're going to dig down. This? They're going to find this? our plastic level. Go what on. about this? That they um, they buried it with the dirt that they dug out to find the other cities, which are now still around. Ah, uh, yes. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. They buried the old ones to uncover the new. So well, all that's the what happens. Are already under there. Yeah, when you dig a tunnel, you have to put the spoil somewhere, and that's how you're creating a new suburb. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's, that's, that's true. like that's what you do. Like you turn yeah. a swampland into uh, oh, a yeah. higher land when you dig a tunnel. Isn't or you that do the end of? Um, isn't uh, Berwick? You know, further out towards the edge of uh, with the beach in Melbourne. Oh yes, what there was. That, that's swamp land, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, there was. What, what is it? Um, Somewhere around that St Kilda area. Yeah, sure. Uh, they did just bring a whole bunch of like spoils in, mm. covered in the swampland, and we built in there. We did build in there. And it was the uh, were sinking a, and yeah, cracking. It was an absolute nightmare. <laughs> yeah, <it was. laughs> Try to dig a hole and it just fills up with uh, spoils. <laughs> yeah, spoils of war. Mm. Anyway, mm. so like, like, how far do we have to dig down before we bury everything else? Do you know what I mean? Like, so the oh, archaeologists okay. are they. Are they going to bury us? How much sand is it going? To, how much sand is it going to take to to bury the uh, Sydney Harbour Bridge? Mm. Yeah. Okay. It's a lot of sand. Mm. So it's going to the bridge has to stay intact. It's going to get buried and preserved, right? Is that what we're aiming for here? Well, you're aiming to use it in the future. 
Oh, so you want to preserve it as much as you possible. Do. Come, you do. sand's the best option. Well, it just seems because I did watch this thing. I did watch this thing tonight. This is why I'm, I'm kind of in a conspir- <laughs> conspiratorial from frame of mind. Sure. Um, ever notice how all these buildings have like windows on like below the f- first level, like Gra- at, at, at ground gra- level. at ground level. Mm. Mm. It's a bit sus. It seems like the ground level has gone up. So up around or has the ground level gone down? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> and also, also I've been thinking, yep. if the sea levels are rising, right, mm-hmm. like they say. Then Venice is going to be okay. Well, no, it's like the water goes, rises at the same level all over the globe, yeah. Does it? Well, does it? I don't know. I'm sure it does. Where's the water come from? Well, let's just say it comes off the land. Off from ice, I, ice I, I, you know, global warming, yeah, and it goes into the ocean. They've been saying that's been happening for ages. Sure. I'm not saying it's not, mm. but my question is, like, does it raise at the same levels? Probably does. Like, if you put yeah, a absolutely. pebble in a glass, it raises over the over the, the glass. The goes the, the, the entire. All over the glass, it, the water level raises at the same rate, doesn't gotcha. it? Gotcha. Gotcha. So if it is raising, so why you know those those beach houses down at Rosebud? Yep. And you've got those beach houses <laughs> that have been there since like the 1920s yep. or whatever. So if the water's rising, right? Why, why are they underwater? Well, yeah. And why isn't that beach like 200 metres in land? I don't know. Because it's very flat over there. <clears throat> yeah. I don't know, actually. So those beach houses should be gone, shouldn't they? Or do yeah, they just keep moving the, them back? It's still part of the bay though, isn't it? But doesn't... But if it rises, yeah, I see where you, I see where you're coming from here. So yeah. it's not going to go in Mexico. It's going to go. Oh, it's ri- rising six meters in Mexico, but only unless two feet li- in Rosebud. Unless they're lower, you see, and the land mass is lower. Maybe we're higher up. Yeah, but Rosebud's always <laughs> been that flat, flat lands. <clears throat> I need the soundboard. Weird science. Do, yeah, you do. do. <laughs> but uh, yeah, is is the world sinking? Is the world growing? Mm. Um. We'll never know. This this could be an underground studio in no time. Could be a great Sa- reef. A sand? Where, where, where are we going to get the sand from, though, if we want to bury our society? Ah, yes. Where does our sand come from? Yeah, right. Um, Morty Alec. Big sand? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I think the best way to do it is to uh, bury yourself in. You've got to right. burrow in. And there's sand underground. Okay. Is it? So we go, yeah, that's Is what it? happens. That's how you make, the, did it, didn't you know this, Tim? No, tell me. <laughs> that's how you go making a tip. Yeah. Your, your local tip, what they used to do is like find someone that has a good sand deposit mm-hmm. and you take out all the sand, you sell the sand, and then you fill the hole back up with rubbish, doubling your profits. And so that's what happens in the Clayton <laughs> areas. There's okay. all those tips because we're close to the beach. So it's like this nice... Sand deposits, uh, sand veins. So what? Is so you like, take all the sand out, sell it to BHP for yep. you know concrete, <laughs> whatever, and then you fill it back in with people's rubbish. It's a, it's a and win-win. Then what, what's the lid on the rubbish? Uh, you put soil so from a tunnel, and then you build houses on it. Yeah, right. It's the perfect hundred-year fucking scam, mate. Yeah. So what? Then then it all just leaches up. Yeah, but that's why I don't they, understand what yeah. the what the logic is of burying it all. I know, but there's nowhere else to put it. Right, can't confetti that one. <laughs> but you, it's just burying. It's like it's, it's, weird. Like, it's sweeping it under the rug, quite literally. <laughs> yeah, it's just weird. Yeah, we and, can't come up with another system. You see. Yeah, not as many people, or not as much uh, waste, or like the pro- the plastic is just. Um, just uh, yeah, but you can't say get rid of the people. You say get, can we get rid of the plastic before we get rid of the people? Well, I'm not saying kill people. I'm just saying like let's <laughs> let's um, find off off planet solutions. Oh, okay. Anyone that wants to Pilfer leave, the new planet. Yes. <clears throat> Anyone that wants to leave, there's a ship going. Uh, it would help everyone out if half of us left. But we will warn you: up there is fucked. <laughs> yes. <it's>, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Good luck breathing. No oxygen and it's <laughs> yeah. cold and yeah. uh, we haven't set anything up yet. Mm. It's frontier so, land. So zero oxygen on Mars? 
Or is it I think mode? there's a percentage. Isn't I there think there might be something. It's got to be an atmosphere yeah, of something. sorts. There is of sorts. It's oh, we're be. finding more out about Mars. Every, every day. day. Every day. Now we've got a helicopter on are we there. Su- aren't we seeing clouds and stuff in... We're seeing a whole bunch of stuff on Mars. Don't you worry about that. Right. Yeah. Right. Uh, there's a helicopter from us. There's uh, rovers. There's... Um, because China said, China got managed to get there as well. Did you see their landing landing that they did, and they were all uh, cheering. And yeah, I saw the I saw the footage of them landing. I see things. I don't know if yeah, I necessarily. But but it was footage of the of their craft landing on Mars from a perfectly positioned camera on Mars, filming it coming down. Gotcha. <laughs> while they while they were going at their NASA thing, going yeah. Yeah. So I yeah. don't know. Yeah. Don't know they they do. <laughs> yeah. You, that's so, something they don't have often say is like first they, first we shoot the camera down. So we land so basically for every time we land, we land twice. Mm-hmm. That's that's the way to beat them. And where's the documentary saying we landed this camera? Like perfectly. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. But to it's, Netflix. To get that shot, I mean, it's quite amazing, isn't it? Well, they as they're as they're doing that miracle land that they've got to do, they've got to shoot out a camera early, do the exact land puts it into position and then films the next one coming mm, down. Mm, mm. So another, it's another question not about possible. another question about Mars. Um, these rovers that are powered by solar and mm. probably some sort of nuclear <laughs> yeah. ion chip. One point twenty one gigawatts. Um, the solar panels, right? There's dust storms on Mars and stuff. So who or what? How? Not who. <laughs> how? how? Do they clean the? Do uh, they clean the solar panels on the rovers? Because it's very dusty. Even the gizzards and the and the you know is there an air gun on the there rover? Must be like an arm that goes. They have to be because they they one ex, one good experiment would be to just get down in the old dusto Mars dust and yeah. just give it a little spray. Out That's a good one to see. And then as it kicks up, you film it and you just see what particles. Got it. Got expose it. Expose themselves, and you go right. Got a reading of one point three one. But you, you got to always make sure that your solar panels have just enough juice to get your air arm out to clean the solar panels. Ah, so if it runs out of batteries and it doesn't get to clean it in time, it's got to clean yourself. It's dead forever. Mm. Dead in water again. Unless you get another one up there to go and clean it. So now you're going to have clean bots. Yeah. <laughs> on Mars before you even have. That's a future prediction. Wow. I've yeah, done it again. I like it. I like it. So we're going to kick everybody off, not solve the planet planet's problems. We're just mm. going to keep burying it under the rug. <laughs> keep moving off world and yeah. until we... To hop from world to world. Until we figure it all out, Tim. Yeah, but I just... I just aliens. The, Covid's. Uh, no, just, just... No, the whole... Um, I'm talking about movies here. Oh, okay. Going to space, traveling to Mars, hypersleep, five years travel, mm. the whole, you know, we picked up aliens along the way. Yeah. It's a bit much. I someone don't like had, it. Someone I don't on board go. had COVID. I don't want to go. Nah. I have no interest in going to space. Not even for, like, I don't want to go in an air balloon. No, I don't either. I have no desire to do that. It seems like they get up very early. It's they a do. morning morning event. Yeah. Which means and, you're and up they at three. It's seventy percent of those when they land, land bad. Yeah. Seventy yeah. percent of the time. Hundred <laughs> percent of the time. All the time. Yeah. All those things I just don't want to do ever no. again, especially launch into space. Yeah. Jeff Bezos is gonna do it. He said he's doing it. He's how long does it first. take how long does it take to get out of the atmosphere? Oh, like, yeah. What's the six, trip? Six minutes or something like six that. Six minutes. Yeah, it's not long. Okay. It doesn't take that long. Yeah, but if you're gonna to go to um, if you're gonna to go to Mars, um, you're gonna to need to be able to grow shit. And I yeah. saw this. I saw when I was perusing the internet, mm. um, this the dude that created a mango tree that has 300 different varieties. Ooh. So you want you want to bring up you want to make sure when you go to Mars you've got like salad right. trees. Yeah, fruit salad trees. Yeah. Uh, water that doubles as Sprite. Yeah, so you don't need a field uh, of... Scotch, like, you don't like, want a field of Brussels sprouts. You want a fucking field of, like, you know, yeah. chicken Caesar salad trees. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, like one... A, a Brussels sprout tree has all the gross vegetables on the one tree. No, no, it has... It grows all the vegetables that go with 
that vegetable. Oh, so yes. you, know, you go to the, the every tree that grows so is you a have, particular you, meal. But for Brussels sprouts, you'd have Brussels sprouts, garlic, and butter. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. Because it's the only way to eat it. Okay. Yeah, true. You don't so boil it. Sprouts are probably not the best. No. But example. I get it. Yeah. But Sounds good. Uh, I don't know. You can go citrus. You can go, you know, we've talked about this before. You get an orange tree and then you can have basically every citrus tree on. With it. On each branch. On like, why yeah, not? Yeah, but that's the way to do it. But but um, mangoes, 300 varieties of mangoes. I didn't think there was that many mangoes. I'm not that big on mangoes. <sighs> nah. I'm a one no, mango one, a year yeah, guy. Yeah, one mango man. <laughs> yeah, once a year. <laughs> when they go, do, when they drop down to about three bucks. Yeah. Soft eyes. Yeah. <laughs> not, not, <laughs> not those so, big ones as big well, as your head. Yeah, well, our mate Renzo, he he likes um, like the real tart, oh, he's hard a, mangoes, you know, like monkey yeah, mangoes. Yeah, but he's a Queensland connection, so he, he understands mangoes better than we do. Okay, yeah. He's had way more experience with mangoes than we have. Yeah, that, that is true. The, the, that tropical lifestyle, yes. that mango lifestyle. But so I guess I guess uh, Queensland could benefit from a um, 300... 300 mango tree. Sure. Sure. Add to it. Like, why not? Why how do, not? How, um, do you, how do you do it, though? You go split o, split o, split o, split o. Are they essentially. Yeah, he's. Do he, they stop becoming the mango of the tree and then start going look, whatever I, the branch is off I'm, the mango? I'm, and, yeah, I'm feeling he's a mango collector. He's uh, He imports mangoes or he cross variety, like cross pollinates, and then he, he adds on, he grafts the. Thing onto these mango big mango. scientists. He's, he's, yeah, he's a mango. He's a mad mango scientist, <laughs> yeah. and he's got his mother tree, his mother stock, and then he just keeps adding his babies to it. You know, all, all these right. new varieties, new babies, new babies, yeah. new mangoes. Yeah, hand here and, and I, I bet you the three hundred varieties um, don't taste any good. Like one of them does. Okay. The original tree tastes great. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's right. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Cause, uh, yeah. It's mango madness. It is. It's, it's kind of going mad, but it's it's the solution to world hunger. To it? Mars it is. Uh, you, you really want a compact variety, like the genetically engineered wheat that can grow on Mars in dirt. Like, yeah. that's, that's what we're aiming for, I think. Okay. Okay. Like low-gravity plants that can uh, we can harvest. <laughs> I've, can obviously, I've thought, obviously, I've thought about this. <laughs> okay, yeah. 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 Um, all right, well, look, fucking, until we get there. We've done it again. Yeah. You know, we always end up, it's science based. This is a science based podcast. Like, it's not uh, based in any fact. I think it was in the, we're in the technology. Uh, <laughs> it uh, seems that we are. No, no, we, that's one of the categories that somehow our podcast accidentally got put into as well. The yeah. technology one. Um, we're doing pretty good on the charts. Yeah. On the technology charts. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. we're like 700 or something like yeah, that. Yeah, but you think about how many podcasts there are in the world. <laughs> 750 technology yeah. ones. <laughs> right, yeah, right. Gotcha, sure. gotcha. <laughs> but uh, look, we like talking about the past, present, future, existential threats, and, um, you know, just our daily lives. And if you'd <laughs> like to hear us talk about this next week, you'll hear Tim say, I'd say thanks for listening. I'm Timmy Taco. I would say the same thing. I concur. I'm Desbot. Thanks for listening. Good, you already bye. said that. I did. Yeah. <laughs> no. it's, not as, it's not as easy as it sounds. Hey, you just go, it's one of the ones he said, but cut it up. <laughs> <laughs> they hop, they duck, they climb, they go through two at a time. Yo, jump in the turnstile, jump the turnstile, jump the, the turnstile, leap over the turnstile, hop over the turnstile, I had to take me. Bye. The turnstile. We are the anti-bacterial wipes. This don't even look sanitary.